Joining us tonight, Pastor Robert Jeffress from the First Baptist Church of Dallas, Fox Business contributor, Great American, and Pastor Sanctuary in Louisville. Your your reaction. Well, Lou, first of all, the idea of sanctuary by a church is a complete myth. Churches don't have that ability to do that, to harbor criminals. Law enforcement, if they wanted to, could go in any place and take a criminal. But what this church is doing is wrong. And, Lou, the reason they're doing it is because they don't believe the Bible. The Unitarians threw out the Bible years ago. But if they did believe the Bible, they would know that Romans 13 says, law enforcement officers are ministers of God sent to punish evildoers, and to resist law enforcement is to resist God himself. No, I'm not talking about condoning police malpractice, but those cases are few and far between. Most police are doing the right thing, and the Bible says to resist them is to resist God himself. And I'll tell you, at our church here in downtown Dallas, our city's out of control trying to defund the police. We're handing out yard signs to our members that says, defend, don't defund the police police because we know we're on the right side of God and his word when we stand up for law enforcement officers. Yeah. You know, and standing up for them, none other than uh, Shaquille O'Neal, uh, Charles Barkley, and being viciously then attacked from the left. Uh, just as soon as you, you hear voices that uh, break the the so-called monolith uh, of the uh, the black political class, uh, they are they're, they're shouted down like everything else that the radical Dems do. The politics of personal destruction. They they could. They, it's just a shame what we are watching the left do. And when I say a shame, I mean it is horrific uh, what they are trying yes. to do again after trying four years to overthrow this president. Your thoughts? Well, it is. And thank God we have people like that black attorney general in Kentucky who stood on the right side and others who Daniel are speaking Cameron, up right. and uh, they don't care what the critics say about them. But uh, this is just an attempt at anarchy. And I think this next election is largely going to be decided on the issue. Do you want chaos in the streets or order in America? Well, about this time tomorrow, we should know who uh, the uh, justice uh, who will be nominated to be the justice on the Supreme Court by the president. Uh, your, your personal favorites? Well, I, look, I think anybody on the president's list is a good choice. They're all conservatives. And, Lou, this is a huge accomplishment. You know, uh, in 2016, exit polls showed that the number one reason evangelicals voted for the president was his promise of a conservative judiciary. Well, with more than 200 federal court appointments and now three support, Supreme Court justices, he has more than delivered on that promise. And, you know, in the end, Lou, most thinking evangelicals they don't care about tweets. They don't care about temperament. They care about accomplishments. And this president has a long yeah. list of accomplishments, especially when it comes to the judiciary he promised. And if they do care about tweets and temperament, Pastor, <laughs> remind them that uh, they've never had uh, such straight talk from an American president uh, in their lives, perhaps in history. Pastor Robert Jeffers, thanks for being with us.